resident observed sit at home in Enugu activities dull in Emo despite IPOP's cancellation of order. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Major markets have remained open till late Thursday evening to allow shoppers to make last minute purchases. Now the news in detail. Despite the cancellation of a one week sit at home protest earlier ordered by the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP to demand the release of its detained leader, Namdi Kanon. Many residents still boycotted business activities on Friday. People had already prepared for the protest slated to hold from today, Friday to next week Wednesday, by buying and stockpiling their needs to last them for the period. Major markets have remained open till late Thursday evening to allow shoppers to make last-minute purchases. The unprecedented hustle and bustle has created gridlocks in the Enugu metropolis. On Friday, it was learned that schools, offices, markets, motor parks, restaurants, abattoirs, filling stations, banks, and other public institutions were shut to the public. Federal, state, and local government offices were included. Also, there has been an influx of persons from Anambra State, which is on red alert on account of its governorship election coming up on Saturday. In Imo State, business activities were not encouraging as a few people could be seen in shops and markets while roads were largely deserted. A resident of Oberi, um, Imo State capital, Chibundu Ochebu, told Sahara reporters that people got the news of a cancellation of city home directive late from IPOB. He said this might have caused the dull social and economic activities on Friday morning. I think people got the news late. A lot of people did not know on time that IPOP cancelled a seat at home last night. So this is responsible for the slow activities of doing business. Only a few people are doing business and roads are empty. But I believe people will start going out when they are aware the seat at home no longer holds, Ochegu said. So how our reporters learned that the situation has come for now as there had not been any report of violence anywhere. Well, this is a very, very, very relieving news. Sincerely, it is very relieving though it came late. It came late. And, um, but for sure, I'm telling you that uh, at least the people of Anambra State, if they still, <laughs> I hope they are comfortable with this news. Those that would want to go out to vote. I just hope that they are very comfortable with the news and... Um, you know, they are allowed to exercise their civil um, right. So why this one is a very soothing news is because, of course, we do not know the chaos and, uh, you know, what would have happened if this particular seat at home held. Talking from the mind of, you know, the Southeasterners now, those that will sit at home then, a lot of issues were put into consideration. What if people go sick? What if people fall sick in the one week period, you know, and this time hospitals will be closed down, pharmacies will be closed down, nowhere, nowhere at all, no vehicle to convey you from one place to another in case you are sick and you need to rush down to the hospital to get um, medications now. Or maybe your wards are sick, or maybe your aged relative, your anyone, it is going to affect a lot. Then what about those who do not feed except they go out and make a daily living? This was put into consideration also. Imagine when you just you, you know yourself that if you don't step out of your house on a daily basis or a daily basis, you are going to, you're not going to find, you would not get, you will not be able to feed yourself. Now imagine someone who has people looking up to him, maybe like a father or someone who is maybe like a big brother, big sister, you know, a breadwinner of the family, who, if he or she does not step out, the family is not going to eat or feed, rather. How do you expect such a person, such a person to, to, I mean, to gather up food stores? I mean, a lot of things might happen under that one week. So it is a, 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 a big relief that this particular sit at home order was um, released. Though it, 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 um, came in late and tell you that uh, between uh, um, between when this order was given to 
um, Monday, let's say Monday to Thursday, I could tell you a lot of people, you know, they were living, especially those in Anambra State, you will see living because they do not understand why so many security operators will be around. And, you know, it is a threatening, like it is not very comfortable for them. And of course, so the atmosphere was really, really tensed. People left, truly. People left. In fact, if you go to motor um, parks at um, um, video clips and pictures, you see if you, on the internet, people were leaving. People were leaving. Like they do not. They were not. They were not sure of what will happen. You know. If and I think all this would have been averted or avoided if the INEC and the, this current administration have resorted to use of electronic voting and electronic combination of results. I tell you. There will be no need for, whether they cancel it or not, whether this order was cancelled, whether, in short, any time you do your voting, nobody knows. Your neighbor do not know. The next person do not know, except you tell that person that this is the person you voted for. You do not have to leave your safe zone. Nothing, nothing. Everything is done in a very civilized manner. Sincerely, I just wish that... um soon that this electronic voting will come to stay in nigeria recently there was i think they the, they agreed to sign a bill into law i think it was electronic combination of results and i was like they came together and i do not know what happened if they later you know um, disagreed and did not go through with it but sincerely this particular electronic um electronic uh, voting it will do a lot like a whole lot a whole lot to do a whole lot there are a lot of benefits in it plenty plenty benefits plenty allow me to use the word plenty the benefits one of the benefits is people will not have to leave their safe zone i mean to come out to cast their votes or per uh, perform their civil rights people will not need to you know you don't need to go and queue under the sun or under the rain you know you spend your time after you queue you registered and then you now come to vote and you know all those things those who want to witness what will happen will stay back while those who did not feel comfortable will go back to their homes all these things you're not going to be feeling it at all you there will be no need of it so i think that this particular um ipop order that was released 